I went to a comic show. I've never been to this show before. And, of course, I picked up just a few books. Let's see what I got and why and what I'm doing with them up next on this video from Bronzeville Comics. Hey there, comic book community. This is Jim from Bronzeville Comics coming to you with another video. Before we get started, do like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. We've reached 4,000 subscribers. I'm going to be doing my giveaway very soon. Uh, I'm going to actually do the giveaway at the beginning of May, and I'll let you know very soon um, exactly what I'm giving away. I'd like to thank everyone for the support. It's been a wild ride. It's been less than two years, and we're at 4,000 subs. Um, it's really kind of a, a lot of fun. Um, so... Uh, also, follow us on the other socials, Bronzeville underscore comics on Instagram, on whatnot. If you're not set, signed up on whatnot yet, there is a link in the description of this video where um, if you use that link, you'll get $10 off your first purchase, even if it's not with me. It could be with anybody. And on top of that, um, there's a uh, link in the description to my email, my eBay store. So come on in and take a look. So um, I'm going to go through, I'm going to save that for last. Um, I got a couple of things in the mail recently, so I figured I'd open these up. So, um, I think this is an eBay purchase. And, um, I've been, I picked up a few things recently on eBay, kind of, um, went back to my eBay game and, um, let me see. Okay. Let's take a look at this. I believe this is like a particular part of my collection that I have been um, kind of actively pursuing in the last uh, little bit of time. Oh, and this is cool. Yeah, this um, this I bought, uh, I thought at a really reasonable price. I think it was a little bit undergraded, actually. Um, it's a nice looking book and it is a copy of Daredevil number 36, the, um, Charles Bureau creation by Lev Gleason Publishers. Um, I think that looks, looks pretty good. The, I thought the, um, the condition looked, so this is one of those May of 1946 books. I've been just grabbing them and, ooh, sorry about the tape noise. And when I see stuff from May of 1946... For a reasonable price in reasonable condition. You know, again, it's 1946, so, like, you know, basically complete and attached and clean is a real plus. Now, some of the books are more challenging, you know, when you get to the Marvel and the, or, I'm sorry, the Timely and the DC stuff. But this is a really cool book. Um, Daredevil was one of those characters who's uh, rebooted in the Project Superpowers, um, run by Alex Ross. It does say the cover's detached. It is 4.0. So, but, I mean, considering the, the cover looks really clean for a PC copy, I'm really happy with that. And then this is a book I got from Erod off of Whatnot. I know I bought something off of him, and I can't remember exactly. Well, now I remember what it is. Um, I thought it was just too good a deal to pass up. It's like one of those things you watch and Whatnot stream, and you're like, oh, wow, that's a good book. Um, maybe I should consider bidding on it and I think it's a book with a little bit of room to grow um, so uh, now um, just keep an eye out on Instagram um, we're hoping to both Erod and I set up a day to um, sell with Streetside Anthony uh, kind of do his, we were supposed to do Saturday, but the weather did not cooperate, or it wasn't supposed to cooperate. So anyway, I picked up this copy of X-Men 98. Just couldn't pass up the price. It's a mid-grader. Um, but I figured, you know, early Claremont X-Men, not going to let that go by. So, um, I had been in touch with, the, 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 the there's a low, small local flea market near me. And one of the guys that sells there, he sells dollar books. And he reaches out to me when he has new stuff. So I went there this Saturday, and he had um, a pile. I bought a pile of, I think it was 
30 books. And he charges a dollar book, um, and I get uh, five for, six for five dollars. So there wasn't any anything amazing in there. Um, I picked out a handful of books, and actually I think, because I was like on the, tr the, the back of his trunk in the back of the car, and it was like kind of almost wanting to rain. There was a little bit of mist in the air, so I didn't want really the books to be out, and I didn't know where to put them. So I think I picked up some books that I didn't mean to. And, but again, I got these two. These are really sharp copies of Adventures of Superman 500. First appearance of Superboy, Connor Kent, John Henry Irons, etc. Picked these up for the PC. I'm not sure I had this on my pull list at the time. Uh, Batman the Brave and the Bold. I really uh, enjoyed this animated series. It was a lot of fun, kind of hearkening back to the Silver Age. Um, a few issues of the... Um, Incomplete and uh, somewhat disappointing Frank Miller, Jim Lee run, Bat All-Star Batman. So, issues one. One, there were two covers. This is the Robin cover. Uh, five, six. So this is the Batgirl issue. There are, there are some issues where the, the cursing that she does throughout the book is crossed out. Uh, and some that's worth a little bit more where the cursing isn't completely crossed out. But this, they're all crossed out. Um, and number nine. And then I just picked up some other stuff, you know, uh, cool Batgirl stuff. Uh, there, there is some significance to this book. I think it's actually the cover. Is that a variant cover? This, I'm not sure I had it. It's a, I don't think I have it. Variant co cover for Dial H for Hero number one. I just thought that was a pretty cool cover with all these um, different characters that uh, he has become. This, I'm not sure of. Um, it does have a little bit of value, but it's... Magic the Gathering, the Shadow Mage, number one. I'm not a Magic the Gathering guy, but they did a lot of mini-series. This is one of the early ones, but it's not the first one. And this, uh, who did this cover? I forget I forget who did this cover, but nice Supergirl variant cover. Supergirl 34. Uh, and then this Superman book, where he reveals his identity to the world. Uh, and then this X-Men is the death of... Somebody Fire Force, or I'm not sure. It's X Men. Um, hard to find the number on this one. I think it's one of these times. Marvel at this point in time, like, didn't prominently display the issue number. I think it's 72 on the cover. Um, and then just uh, some other, some Batgirls, and then some other stuff. I'm not even sure how it got into my pile. I'm like, oh, I picked that up. So, anyway. Nothing major um, in the rest of that run probably end up in my own dollar bins. So then I went to a show, Melville, Long Island. They have a show pretty much every month. And uh, I was scouring some bins. Um, I was looking at the, more or less looking at the wall books, but I, the bins are so good I couldn't pass these up. Um, and so this, I'm going to kind of break down what I'm doing with these books uh, planetary number one. This is going to go in a in a, actually a nine point eight pre screen. This also is like a spec book. The, there is a connection here uh, to the authority, I think. So we may see something come of this at some point. Um, this uh, first appearance of Jason Todd post crisis, and it's a newsstand. This Mark Spector cover um, done by Stephen Platt. It's one of the handful, like maybe half a dozen issues or so that he did. Um, this is a spec book. It's the first appearance of the Ryan Choi version of the Atom, who succeeds Ray Palmer. And Ryan Choi, can, it's it's kind of probably bad spec at this point. Um, he didn't. Uh, he was we he was seen in the Snyder cut of the Justice League. What that's worth. Gotham City Sirens was not on my pull list, so whatever. Um, this also. It's going to go in a 9-8 pre-screen, first appearance of Onslaught. That in a 9-8 is over $100 book. This was a, a pretty cool book. I've been kind of looking for it in a 9-8, but this is not a 9-8. So I think I'm just going to sell that. This Adam Hughes cover um, with this uh, shot of Dream Girl. Then this uh, Pulp Fiction homage, Hulk 441. That was really hot when the She-Hulk series came out. This is a 9-8 pre-screen, which is also a spec book. This is the first cameo appearance of Miss Martian. If you've listened to the channel before, I think Miss Martian is a really interesting character. And I've been specking on her. Another character I've been speculating on, both of these are 9-8 pre-screens, is 
first appearance of Manchester Black, um, who is a character who's able to control Superman's mind and give him um, uh, illusions, hallucinations, uh, and and cause to try to make Superman self destruct. Um, this is the second appearance of Old Man Logan and the first appearance of Spider-Bitch. This is the first appearance of Mogo, the Living Planet. I may look to get this graded, possibly. Um, this is first appearance of Terry McGinnis, but I think there are enough flaws in this. This is not a gradable book. Most of these I picked up for $5 a piece. Um, there's a five, crazy $5 bins. Uh, Fantastic Four 272, one of the uh, appearances of Franklin Richards, which is all sort of connected to Kang. Um, Green Lantern Silver Surfer, one shot. First appearance of Silver Banshee, I'll put this in spec. This is probably something, I'll put it in short term spec. I, I picked up a couple of these recently. Daredevil Born Again, this is the first Born Again in title, and that is going to be the title of the the uh, series. This is going into a 9-6 pre-screen. Um, Fury of Firestorm 35. This is the first appearance of Weasel. We saw Weasel in the Suicide Squad movie, uh, motion capture done by Sean Gunn, James's brother. Um, so uh, he is coming back in Creature Commandos. That's a book that has nice value at that level. And then Aliens 3. This is the original uh, miniseries. This is a little bit lower grade, um, but I'm going to put this in the spec box as well. The Brave and the Bold 200, this is the introduction of Batman and the Outsiders. As the title kind of changed, it rebooted Brave and the Bold after 200 issues disappeared, and it was replaced in the schedule with Batman and the Outsiders. Uh, first appearance of Halo, Geoforce, and Katana. So um, I think Katana is a character we're going to potentially see. Again, Ryan Choi, that goes in the spec box. This is a gradable copy of New Teen Titans 16, um, the first appearance of Captain Carrot. Why can't I get this to focus? There we go. It was one of these uh, previews, so it is a little bit thicker book. This I'm going to put in a short-term spec box. First appearance of Batwoman, Kate Kane, uh, Kate Kane before she became Batwoman. Uh, we know the TV series was canceled, but I, I think a good shot if they expand the Bat family in kind of that Matt Reeves, Robert Pattinson universe. We'll see her. Power Girl miniseries number one. And then I picked up this book. I think this is a PC upgrade, but I got this for a nice price. 25 bucks. Uh, and this is a pretty sharp copy. I think this may be like, like a five to a six. Um, Justice League of America 14. This is when Adam joins the team. And then this has uh, been a hot book uh, right now, um, and I had picked this, I had been specking on this book for two years, and finally it's coming to fruition, um, this is the B cover, the, I think it's the B cover, the George Perez cover of Infinite Crisis 3, the first appearance of Jaime Reyes when he discovers the Blue Beetle Scarab, uh, in issue five is his first full appearance as the Blue Beetle, and then this is an interesting book I picked up, I actually picked up a put these two together. Um, I have a copy of this. This I think is an upgrade, but it's a weird one. It's Metamor uh, Brave and the Bold fifty seven, the first appearance of Metamorpho, and I bundled it with um, Metamorpho number one. Metamorpho also was a member of Batman and the Outsiders, but his first appearance obviously predates that by quite a bit. Um, it's um, it, this book was miscut. So down here, right, at the bottom, it's it's wonked out. And there's it looks like a subscription crease running through the book. But what happened is that somehow when it got cut in printing, it cut it too sharply here and left stuff here, right? I, I don't know. I don't know if this... I'm going to see, potentially, if I'm going to send this into CGC... Um, because my fear is that, A, they won't be able to encapsulate it because of this this extra, I don't know, quarter inch or so um, a book at the top. What I might do is when I press it, I might just kind of fold that in so it looks good. But this crease was caused in production. And that's uh, the crease, everything to, to this side of the crease is pretty clean. 
and the interior of the book is nice and it's everything to the this side of the crease that's messed up my concern is getting a green label or something like that and then i picked up of course spider boy um, i picked up a few booster golds because this was not on my pull list at the time and i want to make sure i get every issue um this is a book i've been hunting for in a 9-8 because it's one of these dc 1980s books that has good value in a 9-8 this is not uh, a 9-8 but star trek number one um this that is a pricey book and to go with those two metamorpho books i picked up a first issue special number three um a new 52 blue beetle number one and then this, I'll probably put it in a 9.6 pre-screen because it still has nice value there. And this, there was one vendor, they had a lot of, they had a lot of bins half price, but even at half price, um, their, their prices were pretty aggressive. But I did find this one. This I got a nice deal on. Green Lantern 25, the first appearance of a whole bunch of Green Lantern characters, um, Atrocitus and I think Larflees and uh, St. Walker, etc. A lot of those other colored lantern main characters. So that's the whole um you know some of these again are going to go into potentially be be graded um some of them going into spec boxes um especially the dc characters that may show up and uh, some of them going into the pc uh, i'm just not sure what to do with that metamorpho let me know if you've ever seen a book like that that was cut that weird okay i i, I haven't so um yeah let me know uh and thanks for checking out the video uh, you can leave a comment below. I would appreciate it. Give us a thumbs up on the way out. Uh, in the meantime, you can check a couple of my other videos out here. And this is Jim saying until next time, enjoy your comics.